race is more like a language than it is like the way in which we are biologically constituted. Mark Bradford's works draw from the abstract expressionist movement that came to signify true United States art through the canon of white male abstract expressionist artists. Abstract expressionist works are easily identifiable through being commonly presented and studied in elementary school art history classes. Under the umbrella of abstract expressionist artists were two groups, the gestural and field color artists. Gestural art is defined as a style of painting in which paint is spontaneously dribbled, splashed, or smeared onto the canvas, rather than being carefully applied. While Bradford aligns himself within this group of artists, his works act as a commentary on the commonly restricted aspect of art history, and as a visual language that questions the hegemonic narrative of Western art and what constitutes a painting. The medium used is actually made of paper that has been liquefied and made into a pulp-like substance so that it can be applied to the canvas like paint. Sexy Cash is a part of The King's Mirror, a series which features layered commercial posters advertising quick cash for homes. Using the informal advertising campaigns posted around Los Angeles at the time of the stock market crash, Sexy Cash highlights the dominating systems of whiteness that are literally bound by those same pieces of paper. By physically deconstructing the substance that upholds capitalism, religion, law, and order, and the Western canon of art history, and many other dominating forces, this work comments on the destructibility of whiteness through the structures which uphold it. Each dominating structure is built upon and upheld by paper and ink it is written in. Moving toward me, they call me capitalism, and I slit throats with dollar signs. I'm the reason women take off clothes and keep a pole between their legs. I'm the reason executive directors bring their work home and never work on working on their homes. My favorite color is green. Whiteness is rooted in a substance that is flimsy and fragile, and a substance bleached white. These works are far from being apolitical a quality desired by early abstract expressionists, as they are rooted in the historical, social, and political context that they are created in. That in itself forms meaning for these works as a commenting on the use of language in commodification and the use of abstract expressionism to challenge the Western canon of art and the prominence of heteronormative male gaze onto the built environment. His works also challenge the conceptual baggage of meaning attached to certain words such as sexy and cash, which are used in Bradford's pieces. The words sexy and cash work as metonyms for the guarantees of sexuality, value, and class. Under the systems of capitalism and heteronormativity, sexy and cash evoke images of white women or porn stars surrounded by money, and whiteness acts as a heteronormative male gaze onto what will be bought or sold. Sexy Cash, as a heading of the piece, calls attention to the ease at which buying into capitalism guarantees sex, success, class, value, but requires lifelong devotion for both your and its survival. Sexy Cash recontextualizes the interlocking nature of the larger forces that dominate the social, political, and historical world. Sexy Cash uses the foundation by which these systems of whiteness, namely capitalism, the entertainment industrial complex, the Western canon of art, and other dominating structures are depended upon for existence. Bringing forth the binding of paper and advertisements, Sexy Cash highlights the commodification of language and place of residence for the benefit of the interlocking systems which dominate society. Bradford's pieces explore and challenge the larger interlocking systems of domination which together create fixed narratives of our visual world. Bradford's works literally deconstruct the ways those narratives are created and promoted to comment on the questions of what is art, as well as who should create art and how.